It's been a life-changing time for the Swazi-born talent. In spring last year, Banele won the coveted Gerard Sikoto Award for his art. He was part of one of the design duos on the popular Winner Home reality show. And his latest triumph is this exhibition at the Museum of Contemporary Art Africa. It explores ideas of love and intimacy in the age of social media. Banele, coming from such humble beginnings at Latikulu, did you ever imagine you'd be standing here at the Zeitmoka, one of the select few Africans to be exhibited here? When I came here for the first time, I actually made a wish in my own corner and it's like, I just wish to have, even if it's one painting showing here, I'd be very content with that. And then six months later, 10 paintings are showing now and it's, it's been insane. And I just never thought it would be possible for me, but I think what really helped was developing on social media where I had an audience of four, and I was like, even if I create for those people, I think it'll drive me, and I think that's how it all happened. This creative outreach has seen his social media following multiply a thousand times over. What was the journey like? I had one instance where I had to meet a client at a restaurant. I got to the restaurant way before time and I'm power dressed. And I think that has helped with people being convinced with what you do. But the fact is I couldn't even afford to buy them a drink or even water. And because I was power dressed, I actually charged a consultation fee, which that money sustained me for the rest of the week. In Banele's hometown, success was to be a doctor, policeman or teacher. Now he's added artists to the list. Your work has allowed you so many opportunities. It's even taken you to Paris. With Paris, it almost comes back to when I was a child when I used to dream of living and working in Paris. And I finally got to leave that this year. Just looking at all the masters of the past and realizing so many things in terms of like my style and also my art and just seeing the beauty that is in the world. And that's what I still wish to maintain and just capture what's beautiful in the world. The range of fields which Banele excels in was fully revealed on Winner Home. He studied at the Leaders in the Science of Fashion, as well as earning his B.Tech in Fine Art. All of it has been brought to the fore with his latest venture, a space he calls BKHZ in Bramfontein, Johannesburg. As well as showcasing his own work in several fields, this is a stage for designers, artists and friends to collaborate. Since Winner Home, actually, I remained inspired, especially taking a blank canvas and transforming it into a designer space or a design space. And for me, I found myself in that way and I knew my style and I was like, I want to continue this forward where you support other local designers and this is it. When Banele won the Gerard Sikoto Award and his three-month art residency in Paris, it was for this series called Note Making which tackles the issue of masculinity. When you look at that work, it's actually notes from my journal. It is very coded and the barrier between you and the work is the couch. I don't want people to get too close, but they are close. Standing here, I feel like I'm very close to you, which means I might just be an artist myself. Maybe you have something we can do that could tap into my artistic skills? Yes, I hope you've been polishing up your drawing. I'd like to show you something. <laughs> Please, let's do it. Children find heroes in illustrated yeah, comics. Banele found his in illustration itself. So this is the playroom and this is where all the art I make comes from. I have quite a few brushes in front of me. I'm feeling this one and I'm drawing you. Right? All the best. <laughs> no smiling, please. This is very serious, very... You need to tell me, what exactly drew you to drawing? Um, so basically I started drawing when I was five years old and it really was me finding a friend in a space where I didn't feel welcome. And especially in primary school, you know how kids can be so mean and they're basically very mean to me and I just found a friend in drawing and painting so I've kept on since then. But when did it strike you that this could be something you can make a career out of? I think it started when I was in high school. 
So uh, people were starting to be interested in buying some of the works that I had. And I mean, 50 Rand was a lot for me. I was like, whoa, people are giving me this much for what I've just done. And then it ne not necessarily was trying to make something out of it, like money-wise, but it just grew. Everybody at home wants to get just a bit of an edge when it comes to the winner home competition. As a veteran, what are your key points? So for the contestants for this year, I would say planning. I think that's very important. I mean, for a space that takes two weeks to be done, you need four weeks of preparation. So even my space, it took me three months to plan for renovations that happened in a month's time. So I'd say planning. This exhibition of his work is a far cry from when this young artist was struggling financially. It's Manile's freedom to express his ideas which sustained him and which excites his fans. Why do you think Banele's work is so relevant today? For me, the most important factor is language, right? And when I mean language, I mean in a context of what a person is portraying their work, either in art, as you're saying, or in fashion, or in any other medium. So now, where Africans need to really focus on is their storytelling, but also not forgetting his style or his aesthetic. And that's what is going to gravitate with the world, as opposed to quintessentially only doing things that tell Africans as Africans, but tell Africans as modern Africans, as African futurists. That's where it's going. I think that it speaks to like young adults. I think this whole look and what he's going for is super like young and hip and it's like relevant to us. His work is very much a commentary on what's happening today. It's all about the pop culture and how we create relationships with people. And it just, it goes into so many different facets of how, you know, we get into engagements with dating. We get into engagements with friendships. It's all social media now. It's not all real contact. The VIP guest that night was a teacher and Banele's mother, Mrs. Tuli Koza. Did you ever imagine Banele would become the artist that he is today? It's amazing. I'm speechless. I can't say a lot of things because I'm speechless. You, I, I've always wanted him to be a millionaire <laughs> or a billionaire <laughs> because of the things that he has been doing ever since he was still young. From three years, he was so different from the others, yes. Everything that he did was different. He used to ask a lot of things about life, but I couldn't answer him because he was young. I used to say, when we are Papa Mandish. And yeah, I just want to thank my mom as well for allowing me to be myself and to just keep on and not stopping me and just, I think, believing and supporting me. I think that has helped a lot to actually build this. Without her, I don't think I'd be here. The dream world of art, fashion and design a young Swazi boy found in the pages of magazines is now the reality Banele made for himself. It seems like you're just moving from strength to strength. What's next for Banele? I think right now it is like sustaining this so that we open other branches from Joburg, Cape Town, Paris, London and everywhere. So I think that's the next step. Well, there you have it. A very talented, aspiring young artist. And he gets to go home with the Fez original, one of a kind. I get to hang this bad boy up on my wall. It seems like we both are living the best of the good life. A fair exchange between two young men having an outstanding year.